couldn't get mugs. We, never we had were mugs. so nothing. I mean, our yeah. show started out as just nothing. And so we, now we had no merchandise of Nothing. any kind, yeah. and we launched a campaign saying we're a morning show. And remember, I would say, what do we need? Mugs. And Mugs. what don't we have? Mugs. Mugs. And, that, that, yeah. and here you are, and you haven't even we started yet. I didn't even know mug. that. Now I feel terrible. You no, know, I, I don't. feel terrible. I don't, don't at all. Rub it in. Hold on. Let, let me. This is a really good Take mug. Take a sip from that mm. Golic Wingo <laughs> mug. Mm. I like uh, that. Oh, my goodness. That's the best beverage I've ever had. All right. The only thing that makes me feel better. <laughs> Is that if if Miami beats Notre Dame on oh. Saturday night, we just established? Can I just say? Go. I'm I'm driving in, listening to the show, and I hear you guys talking about the bet, and I was having a pleasant morning. I was enjoying myself. I was enjoying my breakfast in the car, and then you guys started talking about that, and suddenly I was no longer enjoying my breakfast. So, but it did. Work. It wound up as bad as it could possibly have gone. Yeah. The loser has to give a massage to Stugatz. And Dan Lebertard stated that it must be a glute massage. Glute. He is the one who actually placed those parameters on it. So um, that, that those are the stakes of this wager. And 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 I got. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm 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 bringing in as much Miami stuff as I possibly can now. <laughs> this would be the greatest goodbye present I could I'm ever possibly ask for. I, I think, Why did you agree to this? I think Dan suckered me, and Dan started it all did off he, by did saying, he, "Did he say very nice things about Stu Gatz's no, no, glutes?" No, no, no. Basically, he he was like, "I don't think Miami has a chance, and everybody's building." this game up. Notre Dame is a better team. I think Miami has had a few lucky bounces their way to find themselves into that position. He's playing he was, the long con. So he was kind of doing that. He's and playing then, the long con. And then is what he's kind doing. of right at the end of it, he was like, you know what, just for the fun of this, I'll agree to the bet. So, Golik, really, you can't back out if I'm going to agree to it. He 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 threw the line out there yeah. and he just suckered me right in. I, I took it. Baited the, hook, sinker. baited the hook and got you. Did. Did. So that's where we stand. On it. Yeah. Um, so we can get uh, backed into more of that as we go. Oh, yeah, we... no, let's stay there. Let's let's do more on Stu Gatz's glutes. Well, who just did, uh, this is this is Hembo. No, 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 no. We're not gonna we're not gonna read this. Yeah, no, I'm not reading that on the air. Okay, let's move on to other things. <laughs> Hembo crossed some line. Yeah, Hembo, Hembo crossed just line. crossed some line. I'm not reading. I'm All not right. reading what he just said. All right, let's move I'll on to other now. things. <laughs> let's move on to other things. Uh, <laughs> Lions and Packers last night, or literally seamlessly transitioning from Stu Gatz, yeah. a line that Hembo has crossed to the Lions and Packers. There you go. Well done. Or literally anything else you look at detroit right now yeah i don't know how they're only four and four I, I watch them play i feel like they're better than that the remaining schedule they only play one game left against a team with, with a winning, winning record, record yeah and that's the one they want it's minnesota who they have to catch at home on thanksgiving day so i am on record i believe the lions are going to catch the vikings they're going to win the nfc north wingo what say you look man the, the the lions are really good and matthew stafford is phenomenal i mean he was throwing darts last night he pre he pretty much did whatever he wanted but the same problems they had the week before in in against Pittsburgh at home manifested themselves last night. They're great when they can score outside the 20. When they get inside yeah. the five-yard line, Trouble. they can't do anything. There was that one series where they just, uh, I mean, they were inside the three, and they couldn't get a yard. And that's the one problem that's been with this offense is the power running game over the last couple of years. And I get it. You could, um, th if they can play at home, they'll be fine because they can play inside that doom and do all kinds of things. But there are going to be times, especially in the postseason, if they get if they get in, that they're going to have to manufacture a running game somewhere outdoors where it's cold on the road, and that eventually may be their undoing. And they have that win against Minnesota already in Minnesota. Yeah. That certainly helps them. But uh, I, I'm with you. I mean, that's they, the only thing. They, I, that's the fly in the ointment for them. I agree. They have serious red zone right now. 27th. They struggle there. Uh, three points instead of seven. That's going to cost you at some point. And Minnesota's defense, I buy into. They're so great. It's gonna that, that that's going to be the big matchup on Thanksgiving. Trey Wingo in our studio with the Straight Talk, brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless, best phones, best networks, no contracts. Another hot button topic this hot week. Hot buttons. As you watch the Giants play, and yeah. I mean everything couldn't be going more wrong at once than that. How much of it do you attribute to the quarterback? Well, look. Much in the same way that your beloved Trevor Simeon eventually succumbed to the pounding and he started seeing things that weren't there, that's going to happen to every quarterback. Uh, a lot of that is based, in my opinion, on the offensive line. If the offensive line isn't playing well, then eventually the quarterback's not going to play well, and he's going to start, as people say, in the, you know, start seeing ghosts, right. things that aren't there. You feel pressure that isn't there. Uh, so, listen, obviously Eli Manning is not playing up to his best standards. The question then becomes, do you really believe Geno Smith or or Davis Webb gives you a better chance to win a football game behind that offensive line. No, I don't think anybody believes that, but there's a thought process. 
Do you start to, to think about turning the page from Eli? Give Davis Webb some time to see what you have because you have the big crop of quarterbacks yep. coming out. In your mind, is Eli Manning still the future quarterback of the Giants? No, probably not. You know, I mean, if we're being honest about it, but when you say future, five years from now? Three years. Maybe. Maybe. I, well, let me put it this way. Yeah. Next year, because a lot of people year? are putting him in Jacksonville with Coughlin and having yeah. the Giants move on, figuring it's going to be a new coach and a new GM. So do you just start all over with the quarterback? The interesting thing about this discussion is that we're having the same discussion about a, a team in New York, just the other team. Yes, right? exactly I mean, right. Josh McCown, yeah. uh, Josh McCown, I think, has had a better season than a lot of quarterbacks, uh, either fantasy or in, in real implications. And... That was the team, your Jets was the team, everyone thought, well, you know, they should be all in for Darnold or Allen or Rosen or all this stuff, and suddenly they're a functional offense, not a good, not a, a, a mediocre offense, a functional good offense and a pretty good defense, and the Giants are a complete disaster. Yeah. I mean, the one play that summed up the Giants' season, I thought, on Sunday, on third and 33, yeah. they gave up a 52-yard touchdown. Yeah. To Robert Woods, brutal, yeah, just, and, the, and they looked like the defenders, and that's, I never like to say guys aren't trying, but yeah. that was the play where it looked like well, they were just watching him run by. Well, Ben McAdoo, you saw the press conference, yeah. right? Ben, what did you say to your team at halftime? Uh, next question. Was, yeah, yeah. That was it. That's yeah. all he said. It was uninspiring. Yeah. Yeah. It led one to wonder, does he not remember <laughs> what he said exactly? It wasn't we have a short-term memory issue going on It here? wasn't that long ago no. at halftime. No. All right, Joe Wingo is here. We'll continue in just a moment. And don't miss, you want to talk about star power in the next hour. Ric Flair... And Aaron Judge. Awesome. Both in the next hour of Mike and Mike after this word from ZipRecruiter.com. All right, two questions. One, are you hiring? And two, do you know where to post your job to find the best candidate? With ZipRecruiter, you can post your job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards with just one click. Then ZipRecruiter 